Good morning, Lillian. Thanks for coming on. Just waiting to see if a few more people are going to join before we start. So if you're here, please do say hello in the comments so that I know that you're here and we can make a begin make a start on this. Hi Pickle, how are you? Hi, hi Christine, morning. Hope you're well. As I say, if you're there, please leave me a little hi so that I know you're watching. Hi, Candida. Hi, Pippa, morning. Hi, Katazina. Okay, so we've got a few people come on now. So um, what I'm wanting to do in this video is attempt to do some colouring with the Crayola pencils. Um, as you've seen from my previous live streams where I've done a lot of swatching, um, I have swatched out all the 100 Crayola pencils, so that's what we've got to work with. Oh, sorry to hear that pickle. Morning, Pippa. So, I'm a bit worried about this one. You're gonna have to bear with me. I'm, I'm concerned that this is not gonna turn out so well because we all know that these are very, very, very cheap pencils and they don't have an awful lot of pigment. They don't have a great amount of movement within them, as in blending. Um, and I'm gonna try and attempt a skin tone. So we're gonna see how we go. It could turn out a complete streaky disaster, but we will see. I've chosen this illustration from Sweet and Simple by Hannah Lynn. And I chose this one because it hasn't got too much of an expanse of skin uh, and it's not too busy. So we've not got a lot to be doing in the background as well. This will probably run over a few different streams. I'm not going to do it all today, um, but I'm certainly going to try and get this skin tone done. Now, the colours that I've chosen, I've already selected them out of the Crayolas and I've tried to select them um, as being the closest matches that I could get to the skin tone that I usually use in Prismacolor. So in Prismas, I usually use the light peach first and the Crayola equivalent that I can see is the peach. I then move on to peach and in Crayolas, it's cantaloupe. Then in Prismas, I have a henna, uh, sorry, not henna, a nectar, but I couldn't really find anything that was perfect for nectar. So I've gone with a light brown. And then usually in Prismas, I'd use henna and I'm ch I've chosen mahogany. And then we always have a kind of grayed lavender lilac colour for the shadows and I've chosen the lilac Crayola. Hi Susan. Hi Cathy. Wow, you are up early. <laughs> I thought I was knackered, um, but you must be shattered. Right, okay, so I'm going to get started because there's no time like the present, but I am very worried about how this is going to turn out. I haven't tried it before. This is my first attempt at skin with Crayolas, so we will see. I'm going to zoom in a bit for you so you can be a bit closer to the action. Now I'm going very light with this. I've come right to the end of the pencil. I'm holding the pencil right at the end and I'm going very, very lightly. And you can barely see anything at all. As I say, these pencils are not incredibly pigmented but if you do start pressing hard on them to try and get that pigment you're not going to be able to move any of those lines you're still up from last night what the hell are you doing <laughs> i have not been able to stay awake all night since i was about 16 and even then i was knackered um okay so really can't see anything at all and I'm, I'm looking at, at the ipad now and i know you can't see anything but it really is the lightest of lightest layers. Oh dear. Yeah, my husband suffers from that. It's awful, isn't it? Absolutely awful. Then he'll get periods where he can sleep for days and days. It's crazy. So I'm just adding a bit of this peach colour in the usual places. I'm just trying not to press down or use any type of pressure whatsoever because I'm just so worried about how this is going to streak and things. Has anybody else tried a skin tone 
with Crayolas? And if so, how did it go? So we've got a super, super light layer on. Now I'm going to go to the next colour, which is the cantaloupe. I'm so nervous about this, I can't tell you. But you know what, if it's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong, isn't it? Can you do? So the cantaloupe, slightly darker, still using incredibly light pressure. I'm barely even putting pencil to paper, to be honest. So when we start getting into the darker colours and having to blend, I think I'm going to struggle a bit. Yes, they are very hard, definitely. And you do have to be careful. So despite what you might be able to see on your camera, we are getting a nice bit of colour now and um, it is building up. It's just very difficult to differentiate at the moment. I don't think I've ever coloured this lightly. I'm more, far more likely to use heavy pressure than I am to use light layers because that's just how I colour. But I do try and keep it light, as, as light as I can. I've been um, trying to change my colouring style a little bit to accommodate that. I haven't tried the Crayola Premiers, so I need to get some of those so I can test those out. Because they do have a fantastic colour range, Crayola, it's just the, the hardness is very difficult to work with. So I've put a little nose line in there, I don't know whether to do another one here, yeah let's do it. I always get worried about the nose area because I can very easily mess it up and I do quite often. But just as many pictures that I do quite alright, there's just as many that I do really badly. <laughs> so I do make mistakes a lot. Yes, this is definitely a challenge, certainly. Right, I'm moving on to the light brown, which is getting into darker shades now, so I'm kind of worried. Um, but again, I'm going to keep those layers light. And just be careful. I'm going to also kind of cross hatch my strokes as well, so we don't get too linear. I can see already there's little bits of wax that have just been left on the page, little bits of pigment where I don't want them. And there's nothing I can do, because I think with Crayolas, once they're down, they're down. Hi, Suze. So it's kind of the thing that you have to get right first time, to be honest. They're not very forgiving. Using little round scumbling motions as well with these because I think that works better than a backwards and forwards stroke with these pencils. Yeah, they're layering okay. They're okay at the moment because I'm keeping it super light. But, um bit concerned about how we're going to get when we start the going backstage, the blending backwards. Yeah, I do have the entire set of Prismas, um, Dax Playlist. Oh, sorry, are you talking to two? Sorry, I'm getting involved in a conversation there. Um, but yeah, if you can get Prismas, definitely get Prismas. The skin, you can't really beat them. Um, unless you're looking at kind of luminance and things like that, but that's why I'm trying to do it with the Crayolas. I got a lot of requests to do budget pencil videos because I often do use Prismas 
And even though they're much cheaper than they used to be, they're still quite an expensive purchase. So this is why I'm trying to do kind of budget, budget videos, just so everybody can learn some skills and get involved. I've pretty much only recently learned how to do a decentish skin tone with Prismas. Um, you know, I've, I've only just started getting into my groove with that, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. But it's an experiment. That's why I've done it as a live, really, so you can give me ideas, and I'm not doing it as a, a proper video where I'm trying to tutorial, tutorial people, or trying to teach people. Um, in a tutorial because I've literally got no clue how this is going to work. Yeah, you have to colour super softly, Christine. There's no other way of doing it, to be honest, if you want a half-decent result. So, I think I've done all of the light brown areas. Moving on now to the mahogany which is a very kind of reddish brown colour. It was the closest I could find to the henna or kind of burnt carmine colour if you're working with polychromos. Um, and I'm definitely going to be adding this super lightly because it is very deep. I suppose the good thing about the, hard, the pencils being harder is that you do have to work more to get colour. So, I mean, if these just splodged out colour with a touch of the pencil and that and that you couldn't rework that, that would be a problem. But I suppose you've got this option to go just super, super lightly and see how you go. Do you know what? I have seen that book pickle. Um, I've not seen inside it, but I saw somebody do a, a front page or a title page coloured uh, on Facebook. I couldn't tell you who and I couldn't tell you where but I have seen it uh, and it does look interesting. It looks very detailed. I'm not even sure really what it's what it's about that book but the colouring that I saw of it was brilliant. So I'm just moving this mahogany slightly down toward the chin area. Hi Kim, hello to anybody that's joined by the way, if I'm not uh, on the ball with comments. I'm just really concentrating on this at the moment. Yeah, it'd be awesome. So if Crayola bought out a kind of Prisma-like pencil, but in all these colours, it would be fantastic because the colour range is perfect. Yeah, it did remind me of Kirby's work, definitely. Obviously, with it being called mythographic as well, the first thing you're going to think of is mythomorphia. But the detail was there, wasn't it? I'm going to have to look into that one. Okay, so this is actually going all right at the moment. Better than I thought it would. 
don't know what it's looking like to you guys at the minute, but it's looking okay to me. I'll probably um, bring it up to the camera in a moment so you can see in a bit more detail how these strokes are looking. I'm going to try... Oh, just give me a second. Bear with me, guys. Sorry about that peeps, um, just had a bit of a, a bang from upstairs and it was, my husband is not feeling too good today, he's in a lot of pain, bless him. Oh, and there goes the doorbell, sorry guys, one sec. always get the doorbells don't I when I come on live streams right I think I might have a bit of happy mail here guys just come through I'm gonna try and open it Let's see what we've got Okay, so this is from Jody Mellish. Oh, brilliant! Yes, it's the um, it's the stickles that I couldn't find over here, and Jody very very kindly has offered to send them all the way from Australia. Let's have a look. Oh, they're all wrapped up in tissue paper. Let's have a look. Oh my God! Have a look wow so there's five stickles here to add to my collection let's have a look at them have a quick look oh, i wish jodie was online so i could thank her this is amazing let's have a look so we've got christmas red and holly elf shoes gingerbread and kringle wow I'm so excited because I have this whole other tray that only has one bottle of stickles in it at the moment. So this is going to keep him company. <laughs> I'm going to have to chart these in my little sketchbook, obviously. This elf shoes one is beautiful. Look at that. Thank you so much, Jodie, if you watch this back later. But I will be sending you a message uh, to thank you properly. Wow. All the way from Australia, man. I've got the best followers, subscribers, whatever you want to call yourself. You're the best. Right, okay, let's zoom in. Uh, I know it's ridiculous, Susan. It really is. It's, it's a bit of an obsession. Uh, right. I'm starting off with the lilac now. So I've done my mahogany. And I'm going in for lilac. And this usually just makes it a bit less red gives us a bit more of a shadowed area. It 
This is a really scratchy pencil. I'm barely able to get any pigment out at all and I'm pressing quite hard at this point. Candida, you're talking about the stickles, they're glitter glue. Very, very, very highly concentrated, really sparkly. You've never, never seen anything as sparkly as stickles. They're incredible. So hi to anybody that's joined. I am really concentrating on this skin tone. Um, so if I've missed anybody, I do apologise. I've also been interrupted a couple of times, so... Uh, but yeah, Hubby's not too well. He's all right. He's all right in himself. He's just in an awful lot of pain. So I've just advised him to stay in bed, and I can bring his lunch up to him and stuff. Cause I know what it's like when his back's completely gone. He cannot move a muscle. But he's all right for the moment. I did say, shall I come off the live stream? I don't mind, and he said, no, it's fine. So he's all right for the moment. Thank you, Christine. I'm excited so far. I don't want to mess it up because it's looking okay, but it's still a bit light. And I've got a bit of mahogany there that just kind of stuck. I'm using my knife just to scrape off that bit of mahogany that was stuck there. Good tip. Just be very careful you don't kind of ruin your paper. Um, bring some shadow in here. I think the thing that put me off Crayolas and doing trying to do skin and things like that is just because I'm not a big fan of layering. It takes too much time and I like to get things done, bosh, out the way. Um, I don't have an awful lot of patience. But I'm learning. I'm learning to be more patient. I'm learning to be lighter handed. So at the moment, I think we're doing okay. Hi Pintan Pintando. Uh, who else? Is this Hannah's new month? No, it's not. It's from Sweet and Simple, the colouring book. So I chose this one because I thought I don't want a page that's got loads of scenery and all sorts of things to colour and details and stuff because I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out. Right, so I've got my lilac on there now I'm pretty happy with that now I'm going to go backwards because that's how I blend I kind of cycle forwards and cycle backwards and do that a few times okay so mahogany See, I'm trying to deepen the tone the richness without leaving streaks, which is very difficult. Hi, Janada. Yes, I'm gonna be doing the whole page with Crayolas just to see if it can be done. I know it can be done, but you know, to, to a, a certain kind of a certain standard for me anyway, I want it to look half decent. Favourite coloured pencils are Prismas, by far and large. Absolutely adore them. The wax bloom is an issue um, and I wish they were stronger and made better to a better high kind of quality and production quality but as for actual colouring and blending because I'm I'm not very patient and I want to get things done you don't need to spend a lot of time blending with Prismas they just blend themselves right so I've got my mahogany down moving back into the light brown 
yeah, you just need to do super, super light layers, but you're still gonna get patches and areas like you can see here, where the pigment just clings to a spot and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. I did try and scrape it off a bit with a craft knife very lightly. Uh, whether that's gonna actually work or not, I don't know. I think my favorite budget pencils are probably Black Widows because they're fairly cheap yet they do have a very saturated colourway. Um, you know, the pigment is incredibly vibrant on the Black Widows. Good idea, yes. Um, I could do a Halloween colouring books kind of countdown or top, top five, top 10. I don't know how many Halloween books I've got actually. I don't think I've got too many but there are probably some that could be counted within the Halloween kind of universe, I guess, like um, you Jasmine Beckett Griffith books. Yeah, beauty spot. I should probably put a bit of brown just over there maybe to hide that. Good idea actually. If you do something wrong in your colouring, try and hide it with another feature. Okay, moving next to the cantaloupe colour. heard that about the Arteza. Um, I should get my hands on some really and see what they're like. So I'm using slightly harder pressure now, just very slightly harder, to attempt a blend. I'm kind of cross hatching as well. I'm just doing everything in my power to try and make this as smooth as possible. That is an awesome idea, Pickle. I've never tried that, but I've never even thought of trying that. You've just given me an idea for another video, I think. Fantastic idea. I can't get over that. I'm using the lighter colours with a bit harder pressure because I can kind of afford to. They're not going to make too much of uh, an irreversible mistake if things go wrong. I'll have to have a look on your Instagram pic or see if I can find that one. Because that is an awesome idea. Especially, you know, trying to make fantasy fantasy colouring pages and stuff like that. So there's a lot of kind of hybrids in this book as well, you know, you'll find um, there's a lot of mermaids, but there's also kind of um, the Cheshire cat from Alice in Wonderland. So you could do some sort of calico cat look to him or there's a lot of things you could do with that idea. Hi, Janet. Thanks, Pintando. I'm glad that you like it. I'm glad it's working out so far really wasn't expecting that you know i'm always 
a pessimistic person anyway, unfortunately. It's just how I roll. Right, okay. So I've put a fair bit of cantaloupe on there. I've extended the skin more towards the centre of the face. Uh, now I'm going to go in with that lightest colour, which is the peach, and see if I can just extend it further in and leave some small areas of white highlight. And I'm, I think I'm going to say it's done. I don't want to go any further with this. So usually if it was Prismas or a different kind of pencil that's much softer and easier to work with, I'd probably go a bit further with this skin and blend it even more and make it much more high contrast than it is. But I really don't want to ruin a good thing that we've got going on at the moment. a little bit unsure about this nose I always get this way I don't know if I like it or not it'll probably look better once I've got the rest of the picture colored to be honest it's always the way isn't it it looks a bit weird to start with I'm trying to very lightly pick up some pigment with my craft knife, but even though I'm doing it super light, it's it's scraping the paper a fair bit there. I have to be really careful with that area. Um, okay, let's blend this out under here a little bit. Use the white to blend it together i just don't think that the crayola white is soft enough for me to do that it might streak out what i've already put down with it being quite hard so i'm a bit nervous to do that i might just leave the white highlights as the paper that's so why i'm trying to bring this very lightest color in as much as possible so we don't have huge expanses of white I think I'm going to quit while I'm ahead and call that done for the face. Let's have a look a bit closer to camera so you can see the different sort of areas of colour and how they've blended. It's not too bad, is it? Not too shabby for a first try. I guess it just shows you that skin can be done, even with the cheapest of pencils. Uh, now then, we need to get just this bit of neck done and then a little bit of hand down there. But thankfully, that is all the skin that's on this page and that is why I chose it, to be honest. So I'm going to do that quite quickly. Now that I'm a little bit cocky and confident with these pencils, we're going to try and do it quite quickly. So still using super light layers. Just going a little bit faster. Thanks, Kathy. Um, I tried a little tiny, let me show you, a little tiny patch before I came on with um, blending solution with a solvent like a gum sol, and it didn't do anything, didn't do anything at all. So I thought I'm not going to use that, I'm just going to try my best to do it just with pencils alone. Hi, modernist. Hope you're well. 
We've just been attempting skin here with Crayolas and I was super, super worried about it, but it's turned out all right. It's turned out not too bad. Not for a first try anyway. So I'm just quickly doing this neck area. So we've got all the skin out the way. So I think these pencils are kind to you if you just use light layers and just be a bit delicate with them. Don't go in, you know, all guns blazing. Very, very light. Take your time, which is something I don't like doing because I'm impatient. But I suppose the, the thing that a lot of people tend to do is tend to treat different brands and different materials with the same set of rules and you can't do that really um you know people might pick up prismas color with them and then pick up polys color with them exactly the same and you just can't it just won't work obviously there's different makeup of pencils you have your oil your wax da 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 but to be honest with you every single pencil even if it's two wax based pencils are going to be different they're going to feel different and they're going to need a bit of a different hand so it's just working that out really that's all it is. Hi Stephanie. So I asked for ideas for videos on, well, pretty much everywhere, Twitter, Insta, Facebook, uh, ideas for videos, because I have asked in the past, but I never write them down and then I forget, because I seem to think that I've got a photographic memory when I definitely haven't, uh, more of a goldfish memory, to be honest. So I forgot what everyone asked, and I've asked again, and I've actually got a notebook this time and written them all down physically, and somebody suggested budget pencil videos um, to try and get artists kind of grade results. Now, I know you're not going to get that. You're not going to get that. But um, <clears throat> hopefully what we've done today just shows that you can do something, something like, even if it's not, you know, perfect, you can still get your highlights and shadows in and you can still be fairly smooth. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. I like the Statler Ergo Soft. They are hard, definitely on the harder side, um, but I like them better than these for blending. Statler have just come out with new Ergo Softs, actually. Um, neon, neon colours. I've got them here. Ready to review. Hi, Francis. Thanks for joining. A full picture using Crayolas, Alexandra, because that is what I'm doing on this one. Um, if it's Ergo Soft, I have done a couple of pictures with Ergo Softs alone, but that was a couple of years ago now. Uh, I did one in Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, though. Do they really, Cassie? I'll have to try that out. Different papers as well, isn't it? It's not just different techniques with the with the med with the media. It's the different papers too. Hi Charlene, so I'm bringing this lilac colour in for the shadows, trying to take away a bit of that redness. 
You can also put a bit of green on your skin tone as well if you feel it's getting too toward the red, the red scale. Um, not a bright lime green, sort of a mossy, a deeper green, um, but not not a bright green, like a, like a forest green, if that makes sense. If you try and put a bit of that in your skin, if you th feel it's getting too red, that should balance it out. If you're good at makeup and you watch a lot of makeup tutorials and contouring and stuff, you can apply that to your colouring. Because if you know where all your highlights and shadows are meant to be, that's half the battle. Sounds good, Dev. I'll watch out for that one. Yeah, this is the 100 set as well. Um, but I've just tried to pick out the kind of colours that I would have used if it were Prismas, the alternative colours. Right, so I've put down my basic layers now for that neck. Again, I'm not sure whether the camera is picking this up in perfect HD. Um, I'm looking at my son's iPad at the minute and it doesn't look as detailed as it obviously is to me. Um, so I don't know what your, what kind of quality you're getting. But I will bring it up to camera in a moment so that you can see it in a bit better definition, hopefully. Thanks, Candida. I'm really pleased with how this has turned out, actually. It couldn't have gone better. Because I was expecting a complete mess. Proper streaky mess. So on your second pass round, you can go a little bit, a little bit heavier on the pressure, not too much. really knackered today guys can you tell with my voice so usually I'm quite perky and um, kids call it my posh voice as soon as I come on camera I'm like hello everyone like my posh voice but today with re really tired I feel like I'm sort of reverting back to my normal accent <laughs> which I try not to do on videos because I know that a lot of people can't understand local dialects especially if you're from different countries um, but you know what it's like it's like you've got a telephone voice isn't it you just all of a sudden go a bit posh when you're on camera or on telephone. <laughs> right, I'm going to call that done before I overwork it. Let's have a look closer to camera. Here we go. So you can see it's a bit patchy. Um, it's not smooth. It's not what I would usually finish up on if I was using prismas and stuff, but... Um, I'm certainly more than pleased with how that's turned out to say that I was expecting horrific results. So super, super pleased with that. What I'm going to do now is quickly plug the iPad in so we don't run out of charge and I can still read all of your comments. So give me a sec. Still in my dressing gown, guys. Right. Do you know what? I've literally just plugged it in and it's gone off. It's always the way. Right. Wait for that to come back on. You can still keep talking. I should be able to see it on my phone. I should have to stand up to have a look. Uh, I haven't tried either of those, Sean. I think I need to get my hands on some. Uh, how do I store my pencils? I have loads and loads of pencil cases, um, but other than that, I've got drawers that I keep all of the original tins in. <clears throat> so if it's not a set that I've got in a pencil case, it will be in its original tin in a drawer. Now then, I need a bit of help on Mind you, we'll do the eyes and lips first, then we'll move to the hair, but I'm gonna need your help for suggestions for hair tones. Let me just get this iPad up and running again. <clears throat> just 
just going through comments, just getting rid of some trolls. Uh, yeah, full image, sorry, there we go. So it's this surfer girl from Sweet and Simple. So you know what? It's probably a good idea that you told me to back it out, actually, Sean, because it looks a lot better, doesn't it, when it's a bit further away from camera. Right, eyes. <clears throat> eyes. I don't know, Pickle. I don't know. She's a surfer girl. She's probably got some attitude. I'm thinking wacky. Right. I'm going to go for some proper blue eyes on this one because you know what? I'm always doing green eyes, always, because I absolutely adore green eyes. I'm going to go for blue this time. Now, I need to get my little swatch book out and have a look at these colours. Just bear with me a sec. Because you know what's also annoying about Crayola? If you haven't got them in a pencil case, you have to kind of try and pick out the colour from your swatch book. So, I need a dark blue, so I'm going to go try and find the navy blue. Oh, picked it out first time, what about that? Navy blue, um, then blue. Let's see if I can do the same thing again. No, I got true blue. You know what, that's close enough. True blue, and then a sky blue, I think. Got it, fantastic. Right, who's this Steve Henry you need to remove in? Hide user. Yeah, I've got rid. Would anybody like to be a moderator for me, please? Okay. I'm just going to sharpen these up. I know, he does. I've blocked him as well. Uh, cheers, Sean. One sec. There you go. We should be mod now. Um, right, I'm going to sharpen these up. I'm going to use this new pencil sharpener that we've got. This is a swordfish. Beautiful. and sharp and start at the top of the eyes with the darkest pencil it's just how I usually do it let's try not to go too hard again so we don't have a streaky situation going on hello Robin how are you yeah you're mod now Steve because I uh, sorry Sean because I can see the little toolkit thing next to you the little wrench spanner whatever you want to call it I think if I've made you moderator, you'll actually be mod on all of the future videos, so if that's all right. Yeah, Robin, we've had a, we've had a troll today. I just don't understand why people troll colouring videos. I mean, come on, if you're going to troll something, go on to a bloody political video about Trump or something. Do you know what I mean? If you're going to troll, what's what's a colouring video done to you? <laughs> what's it ever do what have I ever done to you? Uh, right, okay. Next colour is the True Blue. Yes, Candida, I did notice that. When I was putting them through my electric sharpener, it really struggled. And I was surprised, you know, with it being electric and having that power behind it. Yeah, Trump is definitely a troll, uh, but let's not go there. Steve Henry's back, guys. Hi, Steve. You know what? Next time it comes up, I'm just going to totally ignore it because that pisses them off more than anything, doesn't it? So we're doing these eyes, got the second colour in there, there we go, funny isn't it how people make such an effort to come back, uh, just bringing a bit more of that darker colour in, I 
Thanks, Robbie. Um, yeah, cheers, Deb. Uh, sky blue. And I'm going to leave a bit of a white area in the middle. <sighs> cheers, Amy. Looking pretty good. I'm happy. Um, now for lips. Mind you, I need a black first to fill that in. I just use my Copic Multi Liner just to fill the pupil in. I know, sorry about that, Robin. <laughs> yeah, absolutely pathetic. Oh, Gold Digger, awesome. Right, okay, so... I'm going to use a Posca and just put a bit of a dot of a highlight there how many accounts does this freak have seriously right so we've got a bit of a highlight now I'm going to do the lips thanks Cara right Lips, lips, lips. Let's get a nice red. We've got red orange, that will do. Just literally picking these out as they come. Uh, then what? Let's have a look. I need a bit of a pinky colour. What's this one? Razzle Dazzle Rose, that will do. Let's try these two together. Red orange. I know if the uh, if the biggest thing you've got to do with your day is come on a bloody colouring video and troll somebody doing colouring with bloody Crayolas, then you've not got too much of a life, have you? Okay. Right. Don't feed him, guys. Just <clears throat> next time he comes on, just totally ignore him and just delete the message. Right, so red orange um, on the very edges of the lips and maybe a little bit down, oops, down the middle. And a bit of this razzle dazzle rose. Hi Nicole. So much easier to blend these pencils on very tiny areas because <laughs> you can kind of get away with um, with it not being perfect. Thank you, Susan. Uh, might just bring in a slight bit of this mahogany, maybe just to deepen it up a little bit. You can't do too many layers if you've used a burnishing pressure because it will just start to eat up your paper. There we go. Thanks, Pickle. Right then, so we've done, so far, face, her neck, her lips and eyes, and now it's time for the hair. So what are we thinking? I was thinking the same blue as her eyes. What do you reckon? Because um, I think we should go wacky. She's, she looks pretty cool. She looks pretty out there. Uh, not very well, Cara, but you do have to use lots and lots of layers to get anything sort of like this. I'm not saying this is perfect by any means. <clears throat> Oh, dip dyes, interesting. Uh, blonde Californian hair with pink dip dye. Black with purple dip dye. Ombre, black roots, blue ends. Ooh. Do you know what though? I'm not very good at colouring black hair. It just turns out very flat. Everyone's got different ideas. Right. F executive uh, decision. I'm just going to... I'm definitely going to use the blues that I've used in the eyes. 
Um, maybe though, I'll do a different colour like a dip dye. What do we reckon about a blonde with blue ends? I wonder how that would look. I've got to try and find a blonde colour scheme now. There are blonde colours in this kind of pencil pencil set. Let's have a look. Um, so I'm going to need mango, I think. And yellow. I'm just re referring back to my um, swatch book here. I'm trying to find mango. It's yellow. I need to get a pencil case for these, really, so I can see the colours quickly. Pretty sure I keep picking out the same ones. Right, orange, no. Circuit orange, no. Where are you, mango? Mango, there you are, right. So we've got mango, we've got gold and yellow as well. And I think harvest gold. Let's go with harvest gold. There we go. Give them a bit of a sharpen. will hopefully be nice to fade into those blues. Yeah, it does prismas perfectly. It's called a swordfish sharpener from Amazon. Right then, let's give this a go. So I'm gonna start with the harvest gold. Let's do a little section first. Using my flicking motion for the hair, Let's zoom in a bit as well. Let's try a bit of this mango. I think he's got different accounts, Robin. Um, and then a bit golden yellow. I wonder if I bring in a slight bit of this light brown as well at the top, just to deepen it a little bit further. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, now let's do this big one here and try and do the blue fade. Right, so I've done the blonde bit. Let's go from the other end of the section of hair with the darkest blue and see how it turns out. This is gonna be so rad if it works. I don't think I've ever done a dip dyed hair combo before.
more different colours in that blonde there. And keep a bit of a highlight if possible just flick it so that it looks a bit more like strands of hair it's what we're thinking yeah it looks all right doesn't it it looks all right no i ain't got a clue sean i ain't got a clue right then so i'm actually super excited about this <laughs> It's going to take a while, I think, but at the end, it's going to look something. Right, okay. So what's everyone else colouring today? Have you got your books and pencils out, or are you just watching? Uh, in the dark brown. What are you colouring, Stephanie? Oh no, which page are you doing, Francis? I love that book. Oh, have a good day, Suze. Well, oh, thanks, Robin. See you later. Um, Current Romantic Country. Thanks, Jeffrey. Um, some of these strands are quite short and they're all tucked in behind others, so they're not all going to have the blue ends because you can't see the ends. So I'm going to try my best with these kind of crown areas, but we're going to have a lot more of these blue tips as we go down. Yeah, I know exactly which one you mean, Francis. It's got, has it got like the round, the round doorway and it's like the tree roots. Hopefully that's the one you mean. Hi, Amanda. Yeah, it's got a lot of detail, that one, Francis. I don't envy you. Mythomorphia is his best book in my opinion, Stephanie, you'll love it. Oh, well done, Sean. It's a gorgeous book, isn't it? Hi Tiffany, thank you, I've tried my best, really have, I'm super pleased with how it's turned out actually, I was not expecting this.
Oh, I've got pots to do as well. <laughs> Don't remind me. I've got quite a bit of housework to do, actually. I always do this first, though. Colouring takes precedent. <laughs> housework will always be there, won't it? Uh, now I need my blues. camera a bit there. Oh. Hi Tamara. <clears throat> Hi Judy. Well it looks like we've got rid of that uh, troll anyway. Thanks so much for staying on top of that. Sean and Robin. This is a bit where it's actually quite good that they're hard pencils because you can get some proper individual strands of hair going on. Does it actually look all right? This, I mean, this area in between the yellow and the blue, leaving it a bit white, it doesn't look too much of a disconnect, does it? aqua I think I think I've tried to keep a white for the highlight because I know that once you block color something it can look very flat it's difficult though when you're doing two tone because it does look quite separate Harvest gold. Thanks, guys. No worries, Francis. Have fun shopping. <laughs> I need to do a food shop, actually. Kids have gone back to school and they've just completely decimated the fridge. So I think that's on my list for today. I'll do a, I'll do a bit more of this hair and then I'm going to nip off because I've got things to do. Uh, thanks, Candida. I'm going to use um, this brown. Let's see. in a beauty spot just where I had that area of issues earlier because it's bugging me a bit how's that hi Kenneth thanks Susan hi Annie Mm -hmm. 
yeah exactly so it's good that we've got these sharp hard pencils for hair <clears throat> it's just these nice de defined uh, strokes No worries, Kenneth. Nice to have you on. Oh, sorry. I'm always doing that. Uh, let me try and get this a bit straighter. It's because I've not got a lot of room on this area. There we go. Uh, Right, Phoenix, I hope you get some sleep. Thanks for watching, though. Oh, it's awful having insomnia. Thanks, Kenneth. It was um, a few people's ideas to do dip dyed hair. Never done it before. I'm still not 100% to be honest. I like it, don't get me wrong, it's looking nice, but I think I'm gonna have to complete the whole picture before I can say whether I definitely like it or not fully. I just, it's because I've never done it before. I feel a little bit, is it gonna work? Isn't it gonna work? nice if I could put some music on while I'm doing this just in the background but you always get um, kicked off don't you by YouTube I've been listening to a lot of uh, irrepressibles lately if anyone's ever heard of those the darkest one is the uh, navy blue and then we've got the true blue and the sky blue Yeah, I do, Sean. You're right. You're right. I'm so used to listening to music when I'm colouring or watching TV. It's weird not to have it on and just be talking to... Well, I feel like I'm just kind of talking to myself because nobody's physically answering me back, but it's really nice to sit and chat with you, kind of digitally. <laughs> um, okay. Night, Charlene. I'm gonna do this kind of section here and then I might leave the rest for another day. Do you guys listen to music when you colour and if so, what kind of music? I'm always interested in people's music taste for some reason. All right, see you later Deb, thanks for joining. Yeah, no, I really do. I really do, Tiffany. It's weird as well because I'm not a very chatty person. Like I'm, I am with, you know, people that I know. But when I'm talking in a sort of, I don't want to say professional capacity because this is not professional. But, you know, when I'm trying to sort of come across like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> that's when I lose all my words and I don't really know what to say. Um, put a bit of mango in there. Hi, 
Alexandra. Yes, I will be doing because um, I've just recently managed to get my hands on the new Statler Ergo Soft in the neon colours. So I will be definitely doing something with neon soon. Uh, let me see. I'm just going to do these last couple of strands and then I'm going to go because I've got a few errands to run and things to do in the house. So I will bring it back on another stream though. I don't think I'm going to do this off camera. This can be a stream piece so you don't miss anything. Thanks Tamara. Thanks, Annie. I really like it when people say they're inspired by things that I do, things that I'm doing. It makes it all worthwhile to keep going. Hope everything's all right, Robin. Uh, where are we? Final colour. Thanks, Janet. It's looking all right. Hi, Laurie. You're just coming to the end of the stream now. You can watch it back later on. Hopefully you'll do that so you can see what we've been up to today with the Crayolas. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Robin. Every day, Candida. Every day. Yeah, Susan, I'm going to keep it as a stream piece. I've never actually completed a full page on a stream. I've done a couple of colour alongs filmed, but uh, never completed it. So um, let me do a bit of blue here. I'm actually getting hungry now. Gosh, it's half twelve. I wonder. Uh, let's just do this little bit. Yeah, dip dye, Cara. It was a couple of people's ideas further up the chat to do a dip dye. So I wanted to keep the same blues that I did in her hair, uh, in her eyes, sorry, throughout the hair somewhere. Right then, so I'm going to leave it there for today. Let's zoom out so you can see what we've done. Um, really, really pleased with how this has come out and I'm thanking you so much for talking me through it, keeping me encouraged and uh, giving me all the ideas for colours and things like that. I think it's going to be stunning when it's finished. Um, come back in part two when we'll finish off the hair and we'll probably start on the clothes. Uh, and I will see you next time. I hope you all have a brilliant day. Thank you for watching. Bye.